Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Dragon Age Inquisition uh, preview that uh, I got an opportunity to check out the game and the uh, embargo's over, so it's time to put up the video. Start this. That, holy shit, what you saw there was actually the breach, and uh, that's, that's what's caused this whole uh, invasion of demons into the world. Not Darkspawn, but demons. So, we've got our choices of races here. I'm going to go with human. And uh, there's lots of, lots of cool things here. Dual wielding archers, warriors, uh, mages. I really like the mages, but I think I'm going to go with archer uh, this time because I'm able to move around as an archer. As a mage, you get rooted and you can't you know, move your character while you're firing your spells, which annoys the hell out of me. I like to be able to move. So I'm going to go with difficulty normal. Uh, at least for the purpose of eh, well, f well, let's try actually nightmare actually I want to see how hard this game is I want to know that there is an insane challenge so you get a little summary of all your options here and uh, Yes, you could carry over uh, s Some of your choices you can also carry over your choices using the website uh, I think there's a link uh, that you could go to I'll throw it in the description in case you haven't played previous Dragon Ages You can make those choices still and 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 your story will change Based upon uh, the uh, choice that you made All right, let's do it All right, so uh, I like this. I like the loading screens here. You can actually sort through these little cards and and read a little bit more in the world. Um, unfortunately, it does jump back and forth between black loading screens and those types of loading screens. I don't know why you wouldn't just keep the uh, keep the image up the whole time. I, I asked them that question actually. Uh, I, I forgot what the answer he gave me. I think it was different system types when they're loading between loading the world and loading the graphics. So here we go. Alright, so this is your character. He starts off in some ether world or other world and he looks nothing like you. When you stand up, you're gonna immediately get to do some customization here. So I love customizing characters. I could go on for for hours making my character and I'm happy to say the character customization is extensive I'm just gonna fart around <laughs> oh, this looks terrible I'm gonna fart around with some of the settings here but I'm not gonna go in depth uh, as I normally would because I it would take me hours uh, to create my character but just know that uh, this is one game that you're gonna want to make the character look like you um you know or at least look the way you want him to look because he's in so many cutscenes the cutscenes are very well done uh, he's featured he talks so just know that and uh, make your character be very careful about the way you make your character at the beginning so let's go with the hair types here looking for uh, oh shoot <laughs> looking for black uh, the way this screen looks, it's almost like got a bluish tint. I think that's going to be the black. And gots to have facial hair. I'm happy to see that we're having some good facial hairs here. Uh, we got... Yeah, I that, 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 that looks... Because I got a... Oh, I just goes. hope I can help. Voice. You leave me no choice. Everything you've heard, completely true. You leave so me no like choice. Sounded like there's three voice choices instead of two, but this may be as the early the build, so I don't care about the rest. I, I just like hope that. I can I help. I like that voice. Everything you've heard it makes completely true. No, I don't want. How that much one. is this going to cost me exactly? Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Move on to the next thing. So yeah, there's so many options. Head, you know, eyes, ears, all that stuff. The only thing I got to do is change my eyebrows. Because we all know I have thick, bushy eyebrows. So let's look for the thickest, bushiest. No, I don't want to do that. It's too thick. Let's see. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a sexy thick. I got to go with sexy thick. Um, scars. Scars add a little character to your face there. So I'm going to go and... Put some intensity. Oh shoot, that's too big of a scar. Yeah. Uh, sorry, makeup. Nah, let's just. Okay, so you can rename your character, obviously. Name it what you want. 
skip ahead here a little bit. I'm gonna skip through most of these cutscenes here for you because I want you to experience them on your own. I uh, don't want to give too much away. So I'll just go ahead and, and dart through some of these and make a few choices and get right Explain to the gameplay. Thank you. I can't. So if you want a little summary of what happened, you just came through the gateway. Uh, one of the high priestesses of the Chantry just died and they think you're responsible for killing her because you also came through this demonic breach. Uh, so you're under arrest initially, but they can't really prove it. Uh, but they think that you might actually be able to help them with this breach this, up in the sky. But there isn't much time. So I'll go ahead and, and say I'll help. And Cassandra, notice Cassandra approved real quick. I know I'm skipping through this real fast, but... I had a limited amount of time at the event, and so what I wanted to do was capture as much Your gameplay as possible. Your mark must be possible. tested on something smaller than the breach. You'll get to see the cutscenes in a second. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. So the game starts off in this section. It's a rather linear section, but if I wanted, I could jump over those fences and run around over there. So it... It's a little bit more open than it appears, but this is just the tutorial section. All of this is actually before the logo appears on the screen, so a little introduction. The larger the breach now goes, the more rifts appear, the more demons I'm skipping begin. through that. We're heading towards the breach right they now to you. offer our assistance. Stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. Now skip through this again, and I grabbed the bow as my weapon, so I'm the ranger here, so let's get started. So, but notice, I shouldn't have skipped through that one, because that was pretty cool. That was a seamless transition between gameplay and a cutscene. I can show you it uh, in a previous playthrough where I played a mage. But notice here how I can actually move as an archer, and I'm moving very slow. Uh, there's an upgrade to move slightly faster. But uh, normally, other classes, you get rooted when you attack. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now. Hell no. You see these demons over here? A demon you know, attack I need me. this. What was I supposed to do? You don't need to fight. Are you saying it won't happen again? <sighs> You're right. Damn right, I I'm right. I'm always right. You. <laughs> And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. So Cassandra here is the I first character that you meet, and she's like, you know, a very strong, uh, independent warrior, questions. and just Make a uh, actually a take. very badass fighter. I like her character, uh, but a few people who fight. I was at the event with are like, ah, I hate Cassandra, she's so annoying. I'm like, why? She's a badass. Don't be threatened by her. <laughs> And plus, I need Cassandra, since I'm an archer, I need her to get up in battle while I fire them. Fire from uh, far away. Oh shit, here they come up the hill. And it's not linear, so I can be like, screw you, I'm out of here. There's no, not like, invisible wall there, so I can just jump off the cliff if I wanted to. Oh, no. So I'm going to use an ability there. It temporarily cloaks me so that he tries to choose another target. But I just continue to fire in order to burst these guys down. But if I stopped firing, I would have stayed slow. So while Cassandra uh, basically aggros them, I will pop my arrows into their bodies and take them out. So the combat, very fluid and very dynamic. Uh, well, that term is overused. <laughs> it's just very fluid. It feels good. It feels like you're contributing to the battle, and um, up on the hill. Here we go. Here's it's attacked more. from a distance. So notice there on the bottom right hand side, I'm using different skills. The the skill with the mask, that's my cloak, and then I've got a powerful arrow strike with the X button that I can use. That 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 ability right there does some extra damage. And 
I can assign those to different button combinations. And if I hold down, uh, I think it's the left trigger, I'll get access to four more that I could have uh, equipped. So, we are under attack and we need to help these people They're out as soon breach. as possible. Our goal is to close the breach. And we're gonna slowly make our way there. Oh, so they so the enemies are starting to get ranged enemies. What you want to do is take out the green guys first The ranged guys do so much damage uh, To you on higher difficulties now remember the reason why it's taken me a, a long ass time to kill these guys is because I put it on nightmare difficulty we want this to be as hard as possible to see whether Dragon Age is a casual game or if it goes back and pleases that hardcore audience that I'm a part of that offers insane amounts of challenge so far you can hear the fight it's been Who's it's been pretty easy but of course this is we the tutorial so we have to give it a, a chance I mean the game looks absolutely beautiful and this is on Xbox one uh, that I'm playing in I, I bet you it would look even better on PC so I'm really looking forward to that let's take out these guys you see the green floating thing in the background that is actually uh, a breach uh, demons are coming through that void and we need to close that void or additional demons will come through up ah, and guess who we have here I did nothing I'm gonna skip through that these real yours. quick. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky, or I fear I. So what they're saying there is that my hand closes the breach, so I I'm tied to the breaches in some way. Unwelcome tag along. And the guy who made uh, Dragon Age Two boring. You may <laughs> no, that's not fair. It was it was fun in Dragon Age Two. Uh, it's just I'm the story sure that made it great. Boring. Friends in the valley chuckles. Absolutely not. <laughs> Have, uh, oh, chill out, Cassandra. You could come with us. You while you slept. All right, let's skip. I can't room. close the breach if I'm dead. That is most certainly true, Cassandra. You should know. The magic of your. Uh. All right, here we go. Oh. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move. I love jump. <laughs> I love games where you can jump. I hate being stuck and not being able to jump. It just it disconnects me from the world experience. So the fact that I can jump is good. All right, so a lot of people, you could switch between characters just like before. But I'm gonna stick with uh, Angry Joe here, and I'm gonna show off you guys, uh, to you guys, the tactical view. And uh, through this tutorial, it, it, it shows right here that you do have access to the tactical camera, and this will allow you to stop time, issue orders, independent orders, independent abilities firing off. This is how you're gonna heal your characters in the middle of battle. You wanna come into the tactical view, queue up some uh, health potions and let them have it. So I love this view because it pretty much turns it into a strategy game and I'm, I'm feeling like Dragon Age Origins all over again and that's a good thing. We want the, we want the series to go back to its roots. So I'm taking control of my archer again, and I should have took out these green guys before. Let's finish them off. Huh. I just the animations are amazing. Look at that mage over there. The way he fires off his abilities, it just looks so cool. Motion capture and, and uh, combat animations just look fantastic. All right, let's go up here and try to get to the breach. I mean, the big breach. So, are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. 
So you can tell there that party chatter is still very much a part of the game. I love the party chatter. Depending on uh, which characters you bring with you, they'll interact with each other. They'll interact with you, and they'll talk about their environment and the situation that you're in. That's always great to help in the game feel uh, alive and uh, aware of what's happening. So there, I went ahead and, and issued some specific orders uh, to try to take out the guys in the back while we deal with these up front. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna just... The archer will immediately fight the guys that are in his face. So even if you ask the archer to shoot at guys in the distance, if he's getting punched in his face, he's gonna be smart enough to know, okay, I gotta come back. So I'm using Cassandra now to attack these enemies and use her uh, combat abilities, melee. I Switch hope Liliana made fool this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Music is great. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, the entire time I played, I played about five hours. We're not allowed to show you some of the later stuff because they don't want us to spoil it. Another but uh, the music has been it. really intense. Quickly. They keep coming. Help us. For a tutorial battle, it's pretty cool. I'm Legolas. I'm going to try to close this rift a little early and the rift has health of its own so sometimes the rifts won't close on your first time you have to do it twice to three times depending on how big the rift is camera zooms in nicely and so needless to say you can see the game is very cinematic they've added a, you know, a lot of dynamic camera angles so we'll go in and we'll look at the upgrades um, that we could do for our character. So we have two points to spend here. There's four main uh, skill trees. Uh, you got double daggers. And we can go through all of these if you want. In fact, I'll probably stick it at the end of the video so that uh, you know I don't take up too much of the time here. But um, I'm sure some of you are interested in all these different things in the way that you can customize your character. And each of the abilities, some of them can, rather, can be upgraded. The ones that are diamonds, those are abilities that you fire off and you actually put in your, uh, your uh, button assignables. Uh, the circles are passives that just fire off uh, on their own or they're active at all times. Uh, you want to get towards the bottom of the tree to get to the really cool abilities. Uh, and these, this one really is, these are daggers, so what you're doing is you're kind of disappearing and showing up behind the enemy and stabbing them with daggers, like a, a rogue would do. But archery is where, the stuff that I love. This is, uh, at least if I'm going to play an archer, I want to be the best archer in the land. So you got death from above, which is a passive. Um, what else? You've got uh, long shot. This is the uh, special ability that I was using most of it. And you could upgrade that to an even more powerful version. Or you can go down this side of the skill tree, which is first blood. Gives you a little bonus to that. And then unlocks later on into explosive shots. And... Uh, you know, pin cushions. So I'll just go ahead and, and skip ahead here. If you are interested in, in some of this, maybe I'll put up an, another video or uh, stick it at the end of, of one of those. All right, so like I said, uh, we'll go ahead and, and f uh, just continue on with the quest. Rift is gone. Open the gate. Right away, lady. We're clear for the moment. Well done. So I've already played this once on through as uh, a mage and I didn't like how I was kind of just stuck standing there throwing my uh, uh, ice and electricity. I wanted a little bit more mobile character uh, so that I can move while I attack. I chose an archer so I'm just going to go ahead and skip through uh, this. We must elect a replacement except for the actual dialogue So none choices. of you are actually in charge here. You killed everyone who was in charge! <laughs> Call a retreat. I didn't kill anybody. Up. We can. We, we, 
Y'all didn't say nothing. How do you think we should proceed? Oh, asking me for advice, huh? Well. I say we charge. So this is an example of one of the trial. minor branching choices. Uh, I love this. In addition to the, the major everyone. branching choices that they give you throughout the game that's On been in previous Dragon Agents, they're adding a lot of minor ones. And the minor ones do end up giving you different looking things. Like you'll either go up the hill or you'll go up a ladder and you'll have a lot more enemies to fight or you'll have fewer enemies to fight but you'll have fewer troops joining you in the battle so this one i say charge head on with all of our troops on a previous playthrough i uh said go up the mountain pass and there were fewer enemies to fight and i was climbing uh up you know up the mountainside and and a bunch of ladders and things and using sort of a shortcut So I hope it, that, oh, these guys look fucking awesome. Like this, this guy in black and red, hopefully I can grab that armor. Now I've, I asked the developer whether every single armor I see in the game, will, will we find it? Will we be able to equip it and use it? And he said, yes, for the most part, not, not the NPCs with their like, you know, clothing, uh, but if it's armor that's equipable, you can you can find it in the game somewhere so if you find those badass imperial guard looking guys uh you can grab those armor i'm all about loot and apparently loot is plentiful in this game though i must admit as i was playing i wasn't getting a whole lot of loot so maybe that uh maybe that's in further along section from where where i play how many rifts so. are there we must <laughs> seal it if we have to get past Quickly then! Alright. Let me seal this thing. Ah, shit. So you notice the jump away ability? That's one of the uh, abilities that I grabbed during uh, the leveling up process. It allows me to get out of battle quickly if somebody charges me. Booyah! Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it mm -hmm. works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, yep. is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough. Well, the way to the temple should Ah, he approves. Then we <laughs> Skip through this here. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. So, you see there, you can go and loot some of the dead bodies. Like I said, I don't really run into a lot of varied loot, and I was a little disappointed, but they said that there's plenty of loot in the game, so I'll trust them uh, as we get further along. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there? No. This... Feel it? Then... Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. You know this stuff is red lyrium seeker. I see it. Very the voice acting but is really quality. Here? It's always been Magic quality and it continues here. Corrupted. I did notice an odd I mean, sort of pattern of tons of French voices. I don't know, is Dragon Age take place in old France? Everybody has a French accent. Skip through this. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be the big boss battle. Okay, this is the first tutorial boss battle. Remember, this is on Nightmare. So I expect this to be a challenge. I don't want a, a game a like freaking Fable that's no. too easy. So if you manipulate the rift, it'll temporarily pause the boss. He'll become staggered. And that's oh shit. That's oh my god. That took off half my health. I better back off here a little bit. Let's bring him down again. 
Cassandra is taking a ton of damage, but you see she just healed. Oh, great. Now we've got some minions. And minions are in my face, effing me up. Oh, shit. Okay. Go down. You get some separation. There we go. There we go. There we go. I am not doing very much damage to him. I need to... Let's see. Let's take the minions down first so that my party doesn't die. Oh! The party doesn't die. Okay, this is good. This is a challenge. I'm going to stagger him. My team is at low health. Okay, pour it into him, guys. Man, those effects look pretty cool. Come on. Damn it. Shit, more minions. Ooh, he has some distance closing ability. Even though you're firing right away after the cloak effect, it still ma- Oh my god, I almost went down. It still matters because you get a little bit of bonus for the first couple of shots after you've cloaked. Better shut him down. Oh no! Oh, fuck. I'm down. I better go heal. Angry Joe. Angry Joe's the only one that can close the rift. Where's my dead body? I can't find... There I am. Oh, shit. Okay. And press A. Heal him up. Oh, you bastard. Cassandra's down. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is definitely on Nightmare. He's screaming to retreat. But we have no, there's, there's no choice to receive. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> He's lining them up. Piling up the bodies. Yeah, run! Okay. Let me just get... Oh, fuck. Alright, good. I'm glad. I'm actually glad that Nightmare is a challenge. Okay, let's try, let's try that again. And, and this is the tutorial, remember, it's insanely easy. Uh, I played further in than this, and it is definitely hard. Even, even just normal encounters. You're gonna need to use the tactical view. You're gonna need to use plenty of health potions. Um, I'm just playing this a little bit more action-y right now, because I want to get some good footage. And it's pretty cool looking at him in this view. Oh my god, I've already lost one. I lost my mage. I'm about to go down. Alright, let's try. Let's try to slow things down here. And Cassandra almost went down. Oh shit, he's coming. Oh, down! Come on! Oh! Shit! This is not good. Not good. Not good. And I'm good dead. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think I'm going to need to uh, reduce the difficulty at this point. Luckily, you can you can do that. Um, so I'm I'm happy to see that I actually have to reduce it from impossible to hard. Let's see if we can deal with hard in this. We must try to be smarter about this. Wear it down. Main goal the should be that fade rip. No. And while he's staggered, as much damage as possible. And we 
got some NPCs helping us. Oh, get out of there. That's how we do it. Okay, a little bit... Oh my god, I didn't notice I took almost all that damage. I'm about to die. Ball coming through the rift. Oh, shit! Back up, back up, back up! Oh, no. Oh, thank god. They let go of me. I was float for a second. They chose a new target. Cassandra is down already. Oh, my god. This may not be... I uh, should be reviving people right now while he's staggered. What's wrong with me? Where's Cassandra? I can't find her. Uh, I must have passed her. Shit! Let's see. Okay. We gotta start using these healths. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about my health. Okay, so... We can, we can use the health, but... So I have a... I, there we go. So I use the health. I'm going to try to use Barrack here to revive. There we go. Oh, fuck! Down immediately. Let's get Cassandra. Let's over there. Tank. Go, go, go. Got to play this smarter now. Using the actual tactical view. Healing people. Using your health. Uh, when the difficulty gets higher, this is what you need to be doing in the tactical view. And there's going to be other potions and spells here that you can use. We'll try to use all of our special abilities on the enemy. And the, it also gives you a little brief overview of the, the targets and their health. If you have the uh, correct information. Knowledge. Okay. Now we're, now we're doing a little better. Except for people dying still. Damn it. Uh, I don't know if I could get to it. He's just gonna smash me right then and there. Uh, come on. Let's try it. No, 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 no! Oh, son of a bitch. Cassandra's almost already ready to go down. Let's see if we can give her a health potion here. And. Okay. Switch back. Angry Joe. And she's healed up. Okay. I gotta take down this rip. No more messing around. Okay. Rip's health is low. Only need to do that maybe one more time. So I'll kill these guys. Let them choose a new target. Lost my crossbowman. <laughs> okay, come on, get up, buddy. Get up. Freeze him or something. There we go. Shit, okay. It's gonna take one more of those, actually. Oh no! No, I've lost my old team. I'm almost gonna beat this, please. No! Oh my god! I'm scared! Okay, run! Oh shit! Okay! Oh no! Oh, we gotta shut this thing down! Oh my god, we got no fucking help! There we go, okay. Feel the rift! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it! Bald head, bald headed elf. <laughs> I don't see that often. Hey, right, look, he looks bald headed.
All right. All right, sweet. So after that big main battle, uh, you wake up in the closest way, town. I I'll go ahead and skip this. Don't this lady's, she's only... kind of, this servant girl's kind of scared of your power because you were able to uh, close the breach or at least lessen the breach. It's not fully closed. And so there's still a threat. I'll skip through that for you. So, obviously, if you closed it, no, no game. <laughs> so, uh, it's still open, and you've got to find a way to charge up your ability so that you can close the gate uh, even more there. So, I'm going to grab all the loot, all the sweet loot, and everybody is honoring me. <laughs> yes. Kneel, kneel before Joe. Kneel, kneel. <laughs> all right. Yes. You feel like a hero already right at the game. And this is what I love. It's like, this is the kind of shit that you need in a game. You already feel like a badass right at the beginning. You don't you don't have to learn how to kick or learn how to punch like in fucking Risen. You're already a badass and ready to do some damage. So, you come in here to the War uh, Council. And this is where you'll be making your decisions, sending out your agents. Uh, figuring out, you know, uh, you looking live. at the map, rather, there's two real so distinct regions. Concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. I? Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. The breach is stable now. What more do you want from me? Yeah, bastard. God, again. it's never the enough. Breach. For that guy, this asshole here. I bet you this but asshole here no comes choice. in later in the we game. Because he's constantly, you, you know, undermining that. you. When I woke up, so she wants you to join. Neither did Let's we. do it. Help us fix this before it's too late. Okay. Yeah! I skipped through that, but... And thus... Begins... Your adventure in Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> they set that up pretty nicely. So that's it for that video, guys. Because this video is so long, uh, let me know if you want another one and I can give you uh, some longer impressions and show off some of the more unique features like the, the war table and uh, recruiting uh, soldiers into your cause and sending them out on missions. Um, really exciting stuff. So just real quick impressions just for this video is that it's looking good, guys. <laughs> I went in super excited to play it. I came out still super excited to get my hands on the final version and just play through it slowly. So expect the review to be very late because I'm not going to rush through Dragon Age. It's just too fun, too much fun to rush through. Um, so, um, it, all signs are, are pointing to positive. It, it does feel uh, like a mixture between the best of Dragon Age 2 and the best of, of Dragon Age 1 in terms of combat. Uh, now, because of that, uh, whether it's going to be better or worse than the original is going to really depend on the story. Uh, you're not fighting Dark Spawn, you're fighting demons, and so it's going to depend on how much, how, how varied those enemies are, and what the major boss is, and if he has any personality, or he or she. And, uh, and then, really, it's going to rest on these characters. There's going to be nine uh, party characters, I believe. It goes all the way up to nine that you can recruit in your party. And depending on whether they're interesting, funny, uh, creative, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, just a joy to play with, that's probably going to be the biggest uh, uh, factor in determining whether you enjoy Dragon Age Inquisition over the other ones. Uh, so, but all signs are pointing to it being very, very positive and very, very good. So, I am definitely going to pick this one up at release. Okay, guys, let me know if you want that second video. Uh, if I can cobble together some footage that I am allowed to show, I will do it for you, okay? And we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show.